Almost there, cadets. Stay with your buddy. Don't you love field trips? It's school, plus a trip, and you get to have a buddy. What could be better than that? My new super fantastic move. Watch. Isn't it awesome? I call it the loop the loop scoop. Uh, eagle. <laughs> Sorry, Headmaster Crane. Your enthusiasm is always welcome, Cadet Eagle, as is your attention to the rules. And by sheer luck, your description of these stars is quite accurate. Here are seven stars, which, if you connect an imaginary line between them, form a simple shape. I see a big square scoop with a handle. Very good, Robin. This grouping of stars is called the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is part of a larger constellation known as Ursa Major, which means the Great Bear. Can anyone tell me what a constellation is? I can! Ah, Stardust Academy's newest cadet. Yes, Crow? A constellation is a grouping of stars which seems to form a picture in the sky. They were named a long time ago to help explorers find their way. Excellent. Here is Cygnus. That means swan. I see it. There are the wings, and there's the swan's long neck. I just see a bunch of stars. You must look beyond the stars to see what the ancient ones saw. Simple shapes that they could remember. Let's try another. This is Corvus, which means crow. What? I have a constellation named after me? I think it was named long before you came around, Crow, but it's still pretty cool. There are 88 constellations. I will start by showing you 10. But why do we even need to know them? We don't use the stars to guide us anymore. Right, Ava? Negative. Constellations do sometimes help Earthbound navigators find their way. They still don't sound very scientific. I mean, bear, swan, and crow. No offense, crow. Crow? Which one? Meet the constellation! Perhaps we should move to a quieter part of the sky. Pavo the peacock. Columba the dove. Ursa Minor the little bear. Leo the lion. Pisces the fish. Taurus the bull, and finally, Aquila, the eagle. Hey, eagle, you got a constellation named after you, too. I guess that's one I can remember. Hey, field trip buddy, you want to learn the constellations? Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Corvus, Cygnus, Columba, Pavo, Pisces, Leo, Taurus, and Aquila. Done! <laughs> You're not even half full. No, I I'm done learning the ten constellations. Wait, what did you ask me? Nothing, buddy. See you later. <sighs> Don't you love the constellations? There's the scientific name, and the common name, and the shape. Yeah, it's a little overwhelming. Hey, new kid, you seem to know everything about the stars. Well, I do have an interest. Great, let's study together. I'll buy you a fruity fuel box on the way out. You know, Robin, I could, uh, help you learn all ten of those constellations, if you want. Awesome! Let's go! Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Corvus, Cygnus, Columba... Oh, slow down. Say them again. Eagle, that's just the first five. Next, we have Pavo, Pisces, Leo, Taurus, and Aquila. Oh, check out my newest rock. Um, very nice. Let's start at the beginning. Ursa Major, that's Great Bear. Ursa Minor is Little Bear. Can you guess who it looks like? Oh, is it Coot? We're trying to learn the constellations, not figure out Eagle's Rock, which looks nothing like Coot. Sometimes you can't see it at first. Wait, that's it. 
We just have to look at the shapes of the constellations to help us learn their common names. And then we just have to link those names to their scientific names. <gasps> I know! Let's make up a song! Wouldn't it just be easier to memorize them? Yeah, if we all had your perfect memory. Cadets Eagle, Robin, and Hawk, please report to the launch pad at once. Serious news, cadets. Crow is missing. What? He wanted to go into space to look at the constellations again, but I didn't feel like going, so I let him go alone. Raven, that's against the rules. I believe Cadet Raven now realizes his error in not informing our newest cadet. Ava, play Crow's final communication, please. Ava, it's me, Crow. It's incredible up here. I'm seeing so many... Uh, oh, whoa, hey, huh, uh-oh. Asteroid shower. I better follow Swan. So he wasn't alone. He was with someone named Swan. There is no cadet at Stardust Space Academy with that name. You will find some clues on your search. You too, Cadet Raven. Launch sequence initiated. Booster rockets! Down! Ah! 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 This is way more important than learning the names of some silly old constellations. Ava, we're at Crow's last known coordinates. Where did he go next? No information. The asteroid shower must have knocked out the communications and GPS chips in his nose cone. His tracking device was broken? Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. We got this, guys. We just need to figure out what he saw before he dropped communication. Ava, can you play back that last recording again? Affirmative. Ava, it's me, Crow. It's incredible up here. I'm seeing so many... Uh, oh, whoa, hey, huh, uh-oh. Asteroid shower. I better follow Swan. Maybe Swan is a friend from Crow's old school. And what did he mean I'm seeing so many? So many what? Must be asteroids. Uh, I don't think so. Ava, repeat, please. Ava, it's me, Crow. It's incredible up here. I'm seeing so many... What? Uh, oh, whoa, hey, huh, uh-oh. Asteroid shower. I better follow Swan. See? He said, uh-oh, after he saw whatever he saw. So it couldn't have been asteroids. Let's head towards the moon. Maybe he took shelter there. Oh, what could he have seen? Oh, I see your stars. They're nothing new. Eagle, that's it! Stars form constellations. That's what Crow was talking about. He was seeing so many constellations. Okay, but who is this swan guy? Next comes Corvus and Cygnus. They're the crow and swan up there. Wait, Cygnus is the swan. Crow was using the constellations as a guide. Show them, Hawk. Swan's beak is pointing downward, like an arrow. So he was going to the moon. Look, landing tracks. Uh, they're gone in the dust. Maybe we were wrong about following the Swan constellation. Guys, check out these rocks. What do you see? Um. That one kind of looks like the rocket who works in the cafeteria. No, together they form a shape. Come on up and see. It's a clue. Don't you think it looks like Corvus? As in our buddy Crow? Brilliant, Eagle. You're a genius. I had a little help. Crow must be nearby. Emergency signal engaged. <laughs> Hi! 
boy, am I glad to see you. Did you see my name? Pretty cool, huh? Totally. But let's use some modern technology now. Ava, we found Cadet Crow. Repeat, we found Cadet Crow. Excellent news. Well done. Cheering on Earth as well. Thanks for rescuing me. Hey, is that Ursa Major? Nah, Ursa Minor. I used to get those mixed up too. Hey, Robin, how about that song? Like the night is full. 